Can I ask all of y'all a question? I'm for immigration. Re- I'm, I'm, uh, no questions? And you say no questions, but you want people to help you. So why don't you want? I'm an American, American citizen. Why can't I ask you a question? It's only about you, but these will be your people. So let me ask y'all, what about the uh, immigrants in Haiti? How y'all feel about the people in Haiti? How do y'all feel about the people in Haiti? How y'all feel about the people in Haiti? Are you for the people in Haiti too that's been uh, discriminated against? Are you for the people in Haiti that's been discriminated against? You are? Thank you for shaking your hand, yes. So why aren't y'all answering that? Right? Everybody should have a fair chance, right? Yeah, People yeah, from, yeah, yeah. from all the South America. Can I have my team to be able to okay, line up, okay, please? Okay, well, you can, you. You, okay. Well, you don't have nothing. I asked you a question you don't want to answer. What about Look, the people in Haiti? Folks. What are your folks, right? Yep. Is the people in Haiti your folks? Look. Are the people okay? So why don't you want to? What about the people in Haiti? What about the people in Haiti? Don't y'all care about them too? Do you not care about the people in Haiti? Do you care about the people in Haiti? Or are you just for Hispanics? Are you just for only light-skinned people? Are you for? Are you not for dark-skinned people? How you doing? What you think about the people in Haiti? How you feel about that? Oh man, I'm very, very right. terrible about it. That's terrible, right? How about yourself? They, I, I, I feel great. I feel great. But everybody deserves a, a, a ch- Okay, yeah. Okay, so am I from Haiti? No, I'm from uh, uh, Israel. Israel? Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm uh, God chosen people. But let me ask you this. How come I don't see people marching for the people in Haiti down here? Why aren't... Like I see, uh, uh, when it comes to immigration reform in New, uh, uh, New Mexico, Texas, California, Arizona, we see a lot of people like her, right, marching for people that's Hispanic. By the millions, how come y'all not marching for people in Haiti? It's for everyone. It's for everyone. Where? I see you talking. I asked her a question. She said, we're not taking questions. But she want me to go. She want me to vote and help her out. But she don't want to talk about the people in Haiti. But let me answer. Let me answer. Sure, answer. The way it is, they are Hispanics. They've been working for 24 years. Okay. They have invited all the groups, but they didn't show up. Well, they can't show up because they're not here. They won't let them come here. They let y'all come here, right? How did you get here? You was born and raised here, or you? you no, uh, I'm a, I crossed the border. You crossed the border. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you made it healthy yeah, and safe, right? right? Yeah, but now, what we should do? Where you from? You're from where? Nigeria. Hallelujah. Most high bless you. Where you from? Nigeria. And where you from? El Salvador. We support everybody that wants a fair living. But are you coming over here? Right, because of war or because of poverty? Because of poverty. Both? Yeah. Both? So everybody in the world that's poor should flee to America? No. No? I mean, some people can't come here. Well, you see, the, look, you, you see them tits out here? These people are uh, American citizens, right? Yeah. See these tits? And they're homeless. They can't find jobs. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Racha Ha Kodash, and double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Also, it's to see a shalom to you other fellow laborers, you followers of the truth, you few sisters, and mainly let, mainly let me say shalom to the elect. <laughs> anyway, this video is inspired. Uh, actually, I was watching a little bit of Elder Yashawamba's video uh, with uh, this group, Fopi, who, um, Shawsham, I believe that's his name, we had many beefs going on um, here in Baltimore uh, back and forth with the scriptures let me say that nothing carnal so um, he says something about he wants to commit um, he felt like committing suicide and uh, you know the elder went into the scriptures but you know Matthew 5 and 48 says be ye therefore perfect even as your father in heaven is imperfect when you look up that word perfect 
Um, in a blue letter, it means um, t nothing more but completeness, to complete, to finish. This is why Paul said, I have finished, you know. That proves that Apostle Paul was perfect because he's finished um, his journey, so to speak. So, uh, as I looked at the video and I looked with the Fopi channel, I saw this. It says Elder Kornoff live at the immigration protest. So, I took a look at it. And, of course, I looked at another video of his. He was had some issues with family. He said he went into Thanksgiving and saying how the Native Americans... The original Native Americans were black and had woolly hair. Um, so were the Filipinos, by the way. Um, but, you know, when you're raped, robbed, and spoiled, you will have your complexion slowly change. And the Most High did that. But he said that when the, the, the so-called blacks from Africa, the Israelites from Africa, came here, that... They were used to um, to be slaves under the Native Americans, right? But yet he says the Native Americans were black. So I don't know. Maybe think of two different timelines. I don't know. So black people enslaving black people, which okay, um, you still see this today, where you have men uh, and people who are set up in control of the same ethnic you know best way I can say it same ethnic background so you know this is nothing new so I just wanted to touch on that so I'll, I'll try to make this quick you know he says um, what about Haiti you know what about Haiti so I don't my question is why didn't he go to Haiti maybe he did I don't know but he doesn't understand the separation and this goes back you know to the Israelites the best way to destroy a nation is to separate them you have the bloods and you have the crips you have the black gorilla family you have even the Latin kings and um, you have various other groups of uh, Israelites that are separated so I mean, we killing each other, you know. We're tyrants over one another. We do the same thing. And guess who's the head of it? You already know that. So when you see these, um, um, when you see these uh, Israelites out here who he claims are not Israelites, which we could clearly see as a nation that they fit all the curses that the Israelites fit. By the way, they went on slave ships too case you didn't know that okay they had the same things primarily done to us that was um, done to them that was uh, done to us in case you didn't know that either and what he's doing he's fulfilling the agenda you know keep us separated well let's go to another scripture let's go to Hosea one in, t one in uh, ten. Yet the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, which cannot be measured nor numbered. Now you can measure a Negro, right? Uh, well, they say you can't. And it shall come to pass that in a place where it is said unto them, Ye are not my people, there shall it be said unto them, Ye, ye are the sons of the living power. Now when you go to Romans, the ninth chapter, Paul quoted the same thing. Right? Nine and twenty-six, I think. Uh, verse 11 the children of Judah and the children of Israel uh, uh, of Israel be gathered together it says then shall the children of Judah and the children of Israel be gathered together why would they be gathered together because they were separated right now of course they will say because of the Negroes Negroes are separated you know well guess what Negroes are separated Hispanics are separated from uh, other natives all these different tribes are all separated. All of us are. This is not just a Native American separation from blacks. All of us have been separated. And I got news for you. There's people who's going to look white. They're going to look Asian. Right? Who are going to look like various other ethnicities that will be 
um, separated that's going to come together. This is why when you read the scriptures, he says, go baptize and teach all nations. This is why in Revelation 7 and 9, it says, just paraphrasing, um, all nations, kindreds, peoples, and tongues. You think all nations, kindreds, and peoples, and tongues are just going to be black people that look like, I mean, black people that are just going to be black people that's speaking other nation, uh, other kindreds and tongues. This is why he said kindreds, because our kin is, is mingled amongst the rest of the nations. All right, let's go to John 6 and 63. It says, it is the spirit that quickeneth the flesh profiteth nothing, right? It is the spirit that quickeneth. These guys are stuck in a carnal way. It has nothing to do with the flesh. This is why John Revelator said that in Revelation 7. He had to be shocked at what he saw. That's why it was so relevant to for him to say all nations, kindreds, and peoples, and tongues. Because if everybody looked black, right? If everybody was Negro, he wouldn't have to say all nations, kindreds, peoples, and tongues. He could have said the, um, the Israelites with different tongues. But this was usual because you go to Acts 2 and 5, uh, you had uh, Israelites who came from all over with different tongues. So clearly in Revelation 7 and 9, this is clearly talking about Israelites who would have looked like all different nations, right? You know, to get more edification out of that, I'm going to go to Revelation 7 and 9 and look in the blue letter. It says here, let me pull it up, Revelation 7 and 9. After this I beheld lo, a great multitude which no man could number of all nations, kindreds, and peoples, and tongues stood before the throne and before the Lamb clothed in what, with white robes and palms in their hands. Right? So when we go to this word kindreds, all nations, kindreds, well, you know what? This might go a little longer than I expected. G1484, all nations, it says a multitude, whether men or beasts associated living together, a multitude of individual of the same nature or genus, right? Which gene comes from spermia from the same seed, okay? Uh, Philogeny, as I looked that up, if I'm not mistaken. A tribe, a nation of people, okay? Um, nations and people, and kindreds. Let's look up kindreds. Let's see what kindreds says. Uh, it says here, okay, I lost it. Let's see what Kindred's, Kindred says. G5443, um, for whatever reason, they took it out. Or oh, my computer's tripping. Okay, here we go. Of all nations and Kindred's, G5443. It says, a tribe in the New Testament, all persons descending from one of the 12 sons of the patriarch of Jacob. So this is, when you go deeper than this, it says in the New Testament, all persons descending. So when you're grafted back in the, G the Gentiles, which Gentiles, Gentiles is not even an original word, when you grafted back the Israelites who were heathens, right, and following those customs, they would have looked like now in today's society because of the um, rape, robbing, murder, murdering, we would look like all different nations. In their mind, they don't believe that. That's another video because then it'll go on and on. Let's go to 2 Corinthians 10 and 4. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through Yahweh the pulling down the strongholds. So when you look at um, carnal, it says, um, having a nature of flesh uh, under the control of the animal appetites. You know, running up in these conventions. What is that going to do, man? That's all that's set up and designed to do is appease the audience to say, see, yeah, he's doing the work. He's doing the work when he should really be focusing on waking up black people. Maybe he's waking them up that way. I don't know. But he should be focused on, on the scriptures and waking up in his doctrine black people which proves that his doctrine is not correct because it's not about black people right it's about Israelites if it was about black people it would constantly say black people black people 
pertaining to the flesh governed by mere human nature but not by the spirit having a seat in the animal nature or aroused by the animal nature you know just wild okay running on up in there anyway um, I don't think I have much else to say on that the fact that the recap that at the end of the day you know the Israelites were separated right and we were used as tools amongst one another whether we were black or whether we were light with Native Americans or whoever and, and even then and even now is the same concept right this is why you got head set up and he's you know different form of outlines I'll say that you know to be spokesman for Jake so there's nothing new man the black on black crime man the black the bloods and the crips you know all that gang um, this is all going back to slavery and how it was all set up in the first place so why don't he take a trip to Haiti and why, why don't he live there go live in Haiti go live in Africa you know help the, the help the Haitians set up drives food line, food banks you know take all that money you're making and help the Haitians man help the black Africans go down to Brazil and help the Negro Brazilians so how do you separate one from the other a Negro Brazilian so called with the woolly hair messes with a so called white woman and then that baby comes out what <laughs> anyway that's all I have on that shallow one